चाहे शिमला हो या मनाली मसूरी हो या नैनीताल मॉल रोड एक ऐसा नाम है जो इन सभी पॉपुलर हिल स्टेशन से जुड़ा हुआ है फॉर्चुनेट कहो या अनफॉर्चुनेट इतने सालों से यहाँ आने के बाद भी मसूरी की मॉल रोड का रश देख के कभी भी यहाँ पैर रखने की हिम्मत ही नहीं हुई लेकिन अगर आज आप मेरे और इन बहते हुए बादलों के साथ कुछ टाइम मॉल पे बिताने और यहाँ के कुछ छिपे हुए खजाने ढूंढने के लिए तैयार हैं, तो चलते हैं फिर मॉल रोड को द गेटवे टू मसूरी बताया जाता है पीक टूरिस्ट सीजन की भीड़ में यहाँ चलना बिल्कुल भी मेरी लिस्ट में नहीं होता बट मॉनसून कैन बी अ गुड टाइम टू विजिट फर्स्टली इट इज द ग्रीनेस्ट ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम ऑफ द ईयर बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली द क्राउड इज लेसर इन कंपेरिजन टू समर्स और विंटर्स सुनीता फर्स्ट टाइम 2016 सात हाँ, साल हो गए एंड इज़ द फर्स्ट टाइम मैं मॉल रोड में आया हूँ हमेशा <laughs> वहाँ से सीधा ऊपर चढ़ जाता था यू नो ऑनेस्टली वेन वी फर्स्ट मूव डे फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री और फोर इयर्स इवन आई नेवर स्टेप ऑन टू द मॉल रोड एंड इन ऑल दीज इयर्स टू बी ऑनेस्ट ये जो प्लेटफॉर्म है hmm. इसके ऊपर मैं आज पहली बार चढ़ रही हूँ सीरियसली मल्टीपल मल्टीपल टाइम बट आई हैव नेवर स्टॉप्ड ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म एंड लुकड आउट and uh, you know since morning it's been pouring hmm. and it's just stopped and see how beautiful the I valley can is now can imagine yes. but you know humne land aur itna cover kiya hai hmm. that i thought uh, today let's do something on masuri okay and uh, mall road to sab ghumte hain jab hmm. masuri aate hmm. hain hmm. but there are these hidden gems which only locals know about all right okay uh, a few of the tourists would have gone to them But uh, I would want to take you to places which I really love. Perfect, perfect. And you know, Masuri is such a town where a lot of people have spent their childhood. Ah. Uh-huh. You know, there are childhood memories, memories attached. Memories, yeah. So I feel today we should also behave like a child <laughs> and go back to these things, <laughs> places, and you know, bring out the inner child in us. Indeed, indeed, perfect. So, तो मतलब मेरे को लगता है आपने पूरा दिन प्लान करके रखा पूरा दिन प्लान करके रखा है एंड आई होप यू नॉट हैड अ हैवी ब्रेकफास्ट बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू हॉग टुडे थोड़ा पहले बताना था ना आप लोग <laughs> कोई बात नहीं <laughs> कोई नहीं चलो अच्छे we'll... खाने के लिए हमेशा जगह बन जाती हमेशा जगह बन जाती है बिल्कुल परफेक्ट अच्छे मौसम और अच्छी कंपनी की वजह से आज दो चीजें तो गारंटीड है गुड फूड एंड इंडीड गुड मूड बरसात है तो गरम गरम दूध एंड जलेबी यू कैन बीट दैट एंड ऑनेस्टली आपने ना मेरे को विंटर्स की याद दिला दी क्योंकि हम लोगों के यहाँ दिल्ली गुड़गांव में इट्स ओनली विंटर्स गर्मियों में कभी नहीं मिलता यहाँ तो 12 महीने विंटर ही है नहीं नहीं यूर राइट ठंड के टाइम पे साथ में ये मिले नथिंग नथिंग आई थिंक दिस इज द ओ जी डिजर्ट दिस इज कम्प्लीट ओ जी नो बट द ओनली थिंग इज वी नॉट है We are building it up an appetite with this. <laughs> do you remember? Do you have any early memories? Because uh, my uh, early uh, memories, हम लोगों के घर में तो इसको बोलते हैं कड़ा हुआ दूध. हम्म. अ पंजाबी house. पंजाबी house. Oh, oh. And पंजाबी weddings. पंजाबी weddings. Oh yes. Oh. Sagai ke wo. But you know, talking of childhood. <laughs> so I actually grew up in Bombay. Hmm. And uh, that too in Bombay, the locality I grew up in. is a gujarati dominated locality right. so though i am a punjabi hmm. but uh, growing up you know and that is honestly bombay for you that you grow up with a lot of other influences true, true, true. so there are days when you know if you ask me what is my comfort food i will say it is gujju oh, food really yeah <laughs> but look that gives that is for me like soul food you know so there are days when i have cravings for it hmm. and uh, sometimes there is a restaurant that i go to and sometimes then we make it at home hmm. uh but no no but yeah. i think wo ek soul food har ek ke liye rehta hai jaise the other day i was telling you ki shiv ke liye that soul food is dal chawal dal chawal no i think dal chawal for all indians is comfort food doesn't matter 
which part of India you are from and how the dal is made. But dal chawal is a comfort food. Dal chawal, kadi chawal, rajma chawal. आप actually जानते हो कैसे appetite बढ़ानी है किसी Over the years, Mall Road has become heavily populated. The entire stretch is dotted with all sorts of hotels, restaurants, street food vendors, and shops selling everything from electronics to clothing to home decor. और इन्हीं को क्रॉस करते हुए सुनीता मुझे लेके गई एक ऐसी जगह which is hidden in plain sight. Place just below the level of Mall Road, yet far from the noise and mess. Padmini Nivas is a part of Masuri that still retains its British era charm. One of the oldest properties in Masuri, Padmini Nivas commands a spectacular view of the Himalayas and the Doon Valley and feels like a perfect blend of nature and heritage. Abhishek, one of the reasons I love this property, it's that it's like an oasis in Masuri, you know, especially on the mall road. I mean, we're just sitting below the mall road, but you can't hear anything. And when you're up, you don't know what's down below. And what's down below? And what's down below? And what's down below? It's so much greenery in the whole periphery. You don't know what's down below. You don't know what's down below. That you're actually right beside the mall road. It is. Uh, it belongs to the uh, uh, Pipalia Principality. It's hmm. a principality in Gujarat, uh -huh. and uh, the Vora family bought it okay. a few years. I mean, I think a few decades ago. So uh, this is again one of the princely properties. I say, Masuri me kafi sare principal ye princely properties hain hmm. because uh, uh, the the rajas were not allowed to buy land or, uh, land and land or. That was only and only for the British Army. Okay. So any civilian, whether it was an Indian civilian or a British civilian, they didn't have space there. So the Rajas then bought a lot of property in and around Masuri. Masuri. So this is one of them and uh, I think we'll have to ask them how old the property is, but at least it should be around 150 years old, no. if I'm not, not wrong. But good thing is restored to the Correct. the original feel and yeah. vibe so that's what i feel that you know when you come to a town like masuri which has so much of rich heritage and history attached to it why would you want to stay in a concrete place you know go and experience the way the place is meant to be experienced true, true. so you know uh, there was another place i wanted to take you but unfortunately it was shut today mm. uh, lovely omelets mm, mm, uh, mm. that is a shop from again 1918 it is more than 100 years ha, old and okay. so it is the fourth generation which is running the okay. shop and uh, every kid who spent uh, childhood in Masuri uh, especially gone to one of the schools out here hmm. they have fantastic memories and now think that in the menu there is only one item hai, omelets Matlab different types of omelets okay? no it is just one omelet one style of omelet and you will only ask if you need chili or not and oil mein banana hai ya butter mein banana hai that is it <laughs> and the fantastic what i really like is even if you're a big group hmm. when you go you have to tell him in advance how many do you want you know you if you place an order for 10 omelets hmm. खाते खाते आप ये नहीं बोल सकते भैया दो और लगा दीजिए ऐसा क्यों? Because he always has a queue waiting outside and वो उनको पहले बता के रखता है कि आपका नंबर जो है ना पंद्रह मिनट बाद आने वाला आधे घंटे बाद आता है। So he says जिसको मैंने आधा घंटा बोल दिया I can't tell him now कि अभी और दस मिनट और बैठ दीजिए। Right 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 and it is the human tendency ना आपने कुछ खाया अच्छ then uh, uh, the other place, if you want to enjoy Tibetan food, hmm. and uh, incidentally, you know, uh, talking about Tibetans, not many people realize that the first Tibetan settlement in India is actually Masuri. Hmm. So the Dalai Lama, when he came in, he was first brought to, uh, he came to Masuri, and then later on he was given space in uh, Dharamshala. All right. So there is a sizable Tibetan community out here. So on the mall road, there's a very very popular eatery called Kalsan. Kalsan. Ha, they serve excellent Tibetan food. Hmm. I love their devil momos, hmm. yeah, but uh, it is spicy. 
you know there is a capacity to how much one can eat so we are not going there today it's, it's okay it's okay aapne devil momos bol diye although is mausam mein i won't mind momos but chalo dekhte hain agar ho paya to why not nahi to koi baat nahi ab aapne itna suna diya hai khilana kab se shuru karne wale abhi bas chalo chalte hain All right, so, Sunita. So, so looks so like your soul food is yes, here. Yes, my soul food is here, <laughs> and one of my favorites is khandvi. So hmm. I think Auntie knows that, so hmm. she's kept that for us. So there's khandvi, there is uh, moong dal pakodi, there is bhindi, cabbage, surti dal, and there's always one kind of uh, hard item, kathor. So Achha. today it's chana. All right. And then there is alu ki sabzi and raita, and uh, this is dud pak. दूध पाक सो इन व्हेन यू हैविंग गुजराती फूड ऐसा नहीं है डेजर्ट आपका लास्ट बाद में आने के साथ साथ में ही आता है बिल्कुल एंड यू नो ऐसे मतलब हमारे घर पे भी थोड़ा बहुत बिकॉज रिच एज लिव्ड इन गुजरात ऑल हर लाइफ तो कुछ ना कुछ बनता है लेकिन बहुत कम ऐसा होता है कि हम बाहर गुजराती खाने जाते हैं लेकिन बिकॉज आई स्पेंड फोर ईयर्स इन सूरत और वहाँ पे गुजराती था तो आई स्टिल रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ प्लेस फॉल्ट उसका नाम ही बड़ा मजेदार था उसका नाम था सासू जी अब क्यों सासू जी नाम था उसका जित जो मेरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है आई डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट लॉजिक इसलिए था कि एवरी वन एंटरिंग दैट प्लेस शुड फील लाइक दमाद जी आए और सासू जी खिला रहे एंड दो गाइज यूज टू किल अस विद फूड यू नो एक्चुअलीस्टैंडिंग इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री दैट गुजराती फूड इज स्वीट नहीं एवरी थिंग इज स्वीट हाँ It is not. It hmm. is actually very delicate balance between sweet, salty, spicy, Sa- and tangy, sour, yeah. and bitter. Everything you should get all flavors. Hmm. So I feel Gujarati food is actually the umami flavor because you get everything. Everything. Hmm. What do you want? What? Again, I think I've said it already outside. If it wasn't for you, I mean, नहीं पता चलता. We could have easily passed by. Yeah. And That, that's why I told you, I don't know whether these places, some of them are pretty popular, hmm. not all of them are popular, but these are places I love to go to. Hmm. The khandvi is really really, really nice, yeah. no? And the awesome khandvi. इतनी हेवी पेट पूजा के बाद अब बहुत जरूरी थी एक लॉन्ग वॉक और इन बहते हुए बादलों के पीछे पीछे हम भी कुछ ऐसे रास्तों पे निकल गए जहां लोग कम और हवा और फ्रेश होती गई कैमल्स बैक रोड वॉज बिल्ट इन 1845 फोर्टी फाइव टू प्रोवाइड अ वॉकिंग ट्रैक इट्स अ लवली थ्री किलोमीटर्स वॉक विद अ ब्यूटिफुल व्यू ऑफ द वैली एंड द हिमालय यहाँ एक पुराना हवा घर भी है जहां से ऑन अ क्लियर डे वन कैन व्यू द माइटी पीक्स ऑफ बद्रीनाथ केदारनाथ चौखंबा नंदा देवी एंड त्रिशूल So you know we uh, came from Masuri Library side. जी. तो जो Masuri Library है, उसके सामने जो promenade है, earlier this canopy used to be there. अच्छा तो exactly as is वहाँ से उठा के. वहाँ से उठा के यहाँ shift की. This is an original, again hundred and thirty, hundred and forty year old canopy. And पहले क्या होता था? That that was also called the bandstand. हम्म. सो मसूरी लाइब्रेरी का जो फ्रंट पार्ट है द एंटायर कॉरिडोर देर वॉज ऑन वीकेंड्स गिवन टू सवाई होटल एंड सवाई होटल वुड होस्ट हाई टी देर 
एंड सामने ही ये बैंड स्टैंड है यहाँ पे दैंड सो लेटर ऑन इट वॉज शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम ये कितना पहले की बात है दिस वॉज देर आई थिंक टिल एटलीस्ट नाइनटीन एटीज उसके बाद इट वॉज शिफ्टेड यर बट इस जहाँ हम खड़े हैं इस जगह की हिस्ट्री तो और भी पुरानी है सो अभी आजकल इसे बहुगुना पार्क कहते हैं दिस इज एट वन कॉर्नर ऑफ कैमल्स बैक रोड बट दी ओरिजिनल नेम ऑफ दिस प्लेस इज कैंडल पॉइंट Scandal point. Ah. Okay. So there were two reasons why hmm. it was called Scandal Point. Hmm. One is, of course, it is just off uh, the Mall Road. Okay. And uh, for those of you who know, uh, Masuri was for all your unofficial activities. You know, Shimla was the official capital. Right. But uh, this was for all the things that you couldn't do in the official in, uh, place. So it is said that uh, usually, you know, bosses and their uh, subordinates would both be in Masuri simultaneously <laughs> with their respective mistresses, <laughs> and if they met on the mall road, both would look at each other and turn the other way around, saying, "You have no clue what I am doing, and I have no clue what you are doing." <laughs> we didn't meet. We were we never here. <laughs> so you know the the saying that you say for Los Angeles hmm. was actually coined for Masuri. Ah. But what happened in Masuri stayed back in Masuri. <laughs> so this right. place. used to because it's just off the mall road used to hmm. be the rendezvous point ah, okay that's that's why it was known as scandal point hmm. but there is a story which is even prior to this hmm. uh, which is again with the origins of uh, masuri uh, there was a guy called uh, frederick wilson mm mm-hmm. an absolute maverick character and uski puri kahani bataungi to bahut lambi hai but he had come in as a escapee from the afghan war all right and uh, you know in order to hide his identity he stayed back in masuri but he was a great poker player okay so and that time used what used to happen is uh, if you did not participate in a war you were termed as a bhagoda Bilkul. you know and you were shunned by society so uh, he was here to protect his identity uh, but you know on a christmas eve there was a party at himalayan club and he went there and he started playing poker and he started winning so his success became his downfall because immediately people identified ki itna jeet raha hai nazron mein aa gaya nazron mein aa gaye this has to be wilson so the then uh, administrative in charge of dehradun in today's day and age we would refer to it as a district magistrate dm hmm. uh, was a guy called um, f o wells and uh, uh, you know wells was there at that party and he got to know that you know wilson here so as wilson left wells chased him and both came on horseback and uh, they accosted each other over here at this point and an altercation happened and obviously nobody knows now whether it was an accident or whether wilson uh, uh, wilson threw wells off mm-hmm. but wells finally fell off the cliff from here from here from right here uh-huh. and he fell off and after that this place got the name scandal point सुनीता के पास इस रीजन की इतनी कहानियां हैं कि वक्त कहां चला जाता है पता ही नहीं चलता टू एंड आर डे वी हेड इट बैक टू लैंड और टू अ प्लेस जहां आज तक मैं भी नहीं गया कैफे आई वी लैंडोर के लिए एक नया नाम तो नहीं है बट हाँ अब एक नई लोकेशन पे जरूर है ऑन अ रेनी डे विद लश ग्रीन सराउंडिंग्स रस्टिक फर्निशिंग्स एंड अ टाइमलेस एलिगेंस द ऑम्बियंस सर्टनली इज एनचैंटिंग लॉन्ग डे सी नो मैटर वे यू गो इज नथिंग लाइक होम और मेरे लिए दैट मीन्स कमिंग बैक टू लैंडोर आई एम सॉरी कहीं भी आप मुझे और ले जाओ 
there's nothing like coming back home. This yeah. is a 150 year old house. Hmm. Yeah, and it is the oldest uh, guest house of Landor. But beach me saath saal it was shut. Mm -hmm. So last year we renovated and relaunched it. Hmm. And while doing the property, we were very clear that we wanted it to be like an old English heritage, heritage right. house. You know, by now you know I don't like modern structures. <laughs> so the whole endeavour was that, and whatever we could salvage from the original property, hmm. we've tried to salvage it. Oh. Uh, but the thing that touches me the most about this place and which I think honestly is the soul of this whole property is this tree. What is this? Devdar? It is a Devdar tree. So, uh, you know, this tree itself is 250 years old. So, just imagine Abhishek, Masuri is 200 years old. Hmm. This tree is 250 years old. <laughs> this, you know, sometimes I really wonder if the tree could speak, what all stories it will tell us. You know, it is. It's all in front of you. 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 And sorry to say, but it's all in front of you. Absolutely. And it has seen the Britishers coming in, then leaving. It has seen the Rajas and Maharajas and their stories of Masuri and Landor. Then it has seen a lot of missionaries coming and settling here. It has seen generations of school kids coming and going, growing up. Becoming parents, now becoming grandparents, <laughs> them coming back with kids. So, you know, you kya kya nahi bata But it's sakta. very distinct looking so, Devdas. You know, so, these are Devdas, these right? These are all Devdas. Haan. So, if you, whenever you look at a Devdar, they normally all grow straight. That's right. Haan. But this one is very unique. It is growing in a lyre shape, you know, like the musical instrument. Bilkul. Or eight drums, trunk, say you have 13 Kip. different haan, uh, main wala tha. Have you ever counted? 13, 13. 13 of them are coming. And the circumference of the trunk itself is 15 feet. Never seen anything yeah, like this. Yeah. And already our peat, which is so full, you have to order it here too. See, when you come to Landor and you, when you come to Devdar Woods, you have to have their Lotus Biscoff cake. Alright. So what do we have over here? We have some carrot cake and we have some Lotus Biscoff. Biscoff. Okay, let me start with Lotus Biscoff first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now you know why. <laughs> so this is caramel only, upar? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Dekho. Log kahenge ki dekho. Ab bhi shakle bana raha tha ki peet bhar gaya. Aur ek chamaj kahi to phada phir dusri bhi. Nee, but ab samajh aaya na, maine order bhi kyu kiya? Try, try some of the carrot cake also. Oh, yeah, yeah. बहुत लोग कहते हैं कि किसी भी जगह को एक दो बार से ज्यादा क्या ही देखेंगे सब कुछ सेम ही तो है वही पहाड़ वही जंगल वही कैफे और वही हवा बट आई फील यू कैन नेवर विजिट द सेम प्लेस ट्वाइस ईच टाइम इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी बाय द वेरी एक्ट ऑफ कमिंग बैक यू वाइप आउट वॉट केम बिफोर